Here we have a slightly used 2022 GMC Savannah Explorer conversion van. So this van sits on a Savannah 2500 cargo chassis. Comes in Summit white and then we have the custom pewter leather appointed seats. And the powertrain on this van consists of a 6.6 .6 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine. And that's made it to a six speed heavy duty automatic transmission. And this one has just a little over, a little under 5,000 miles, I believe. But as we come to the front end here, we do have a great look as part of the Explore conversion from Explore. They get this nice black grill. We have the LED fog lights that aren't on, the halogen headlamp, headlamps, those aren't on either, but just love the overall stance of it, especially having that high top there, it just looks really good. And then around the wheels here, we get these custom 20 inch wheels. And you have that kind of galvanized aluminum finish. I love that. And then just everything's blacked out. You have the dark tinted glass in the back. And then to the door panel here, door lock controls, and then one touch down for the driver's side, just regular power window for the front passenger. And then our power mirror controls are here. You can pick the right side, left side, or offset in the middle here, and then you can adjust either side there. And then the control for the power door locks is there. It's lock unlock we have a nice jbl surround sound system storage in the pocket there headlamp controls and then foot pedal brake push down to, to engage and then pull this to release and then here's the hood release there and we do get a power driver's seat and power front passenger seat i'll show you where those controls are because they're on the inside there Fuel cap is there. I'm trying to get through all the the less interesting stuff before we get to the the cool stuff, which is going to be the inside of this van, of course. There's the back seat, and we know this folds down. So if you want to turn it into a sleeper, you can do that. And I like the seven passenger setup the best just because you get the most room to fold this bad boy down. And then you can also power recline it forward and back if you want to, if you're just gonna use it as a couch. And of course we have the seat back, the huge seat back pocket there for additional storage. Tons of storage on the side as well. And a 12 volt here. And then we do have a tow hitch. So depending on what you're trying to pull, this will pull quite a bit. I'll try to find the exact specs and put it in the description. But now to the inside. Of course, we do have the blinds throughout, so you can just pull those back and forth. So you pull from the top here and then from the bottom on that side there. A pretty good leg room in here. We have zippable seat back pockets on both sides. And then we have the top pockets as well. We get a nice TV screen too. And then we can access our Netflix, Disney Plus, Prime, all of that through SmartCast. And we also have a Blu-ray player, which is down below here. And then you have one more outlet if you want to hook up your PlayStation or Xbox, you have an HDMI port and then a 120 volt there. And that's a wireless charging pad, bottle holders. And then here's where you can power recline the seat, tilt it, and then kind of pump it up or down and move the seat back or forth there. And then heated seat toggle there. Man, there's just so much in here. I just kind of want to get as much as I can. 
show how everything works, all the sounds and everything. We have the, I love the, the skylights there on the sides. And then we also have those ceiling lights as well. Just a great overall presence this thing has. You just feel like a million bucks in it. And then two USB-A ports here. Both sides, vents in the floor. Of course, illuminated cup holders. Now, this is the life right here. I could, I could definitely take one of these if somebody gave it to me. <laughs> And then we also have the power running boards, which are a nice touch. And then to the front passenger seat here, again, I showed you those power controls. But I put the headlights on so y'all can see those. And then underneath the hood, there's that 6.6 .6 liter V8. But now let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So a nice leather wrapped steering wheel here. I like how they did that. There's the horn there. And then over here to the radio, we do have AM, FM, XM. And then we also have an aux input USB port and then a CD drive. And then volume can adjust there. We can turn the system off. And then presets are here. EQ, we can do all of that. And the actual aux input is right there. Now for a backup camera, we do get this rear camera mirror. It takes up half of the actual rear view mirror. Nice option there. And then our AC control is just manual, but pretty easy to get that engaged there temperature can be adjusted fan speed and then we can heat those side mirrors there another big plus is we do have the the tow mirror as well as the blind spot monitors so i love having that 12 volts here tow haul mode can be engaged there traction control on star another 120 volt three prong plug in there usb a port and then a 12 volt. that usb a is what runs off of that and then you can enable the running boards by flipping that switch. Three bottle holders up here. And then storage in the middle, which is a nice touch. And then we have the original window sticker here. This doesn't include all of the options that Explorer put on it, but that's just what it stickered before the upfit. And what's great is after everything that's been put on here, this one, with 4837 in terms of mileage, you still are only having to pay. I think this one's listed at 68,000 right now. There's a view of the back. And then our rear AC controls there. Here are all the switches for the lights and whatnot. And then there is our vanity mirror. Now to put the vehicle in gear, pull, reverse, neutral, drive, and then you have your manual, then you can shift there. And then you have your gear one right there. And then volume controls here. You can toggle your sources here, XM, AM, FM. And then you can go through tracks or radio stations there. And then this is actually to go through the presets and then voice recognition controls here. Cruise control, cancel. We can resume and do all of that. And then you have a manual tilt wheel there blinkers intermittent wipers and we can toggle our high beams there and then windshield wiper fluid by doing that and then we can go through our gauge cluster down there so this is a trip meter here and you can see by the fuel economy this is actually getting pretty good fuel mileage at 14.2 miles a gallon you can toggle your parking sensors, tire pressure monitors, blind spot monitors, all of that right in there. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything else. I think that's pretty much it. There's the key fob with remote start. And then next we're gonna go ahead and take this 2500 Explorer conversion van out of the road for a test drive. 